Sunshine, what we got for you today, we're gonna saw us a walnut log out here on the sawmill. I'm gonna narrate just a little bit because I can't do audio on the sawmill other than what the sawmill does. Sorry about that, it's just the equipment I got. Uh, we're gonna get us a nine by 10 mantle, which is pretty big. Logs only about 13 inches on the small end. Plus it's got a well on the small end because it's going into two limbs. And uh, so what you're seeing me doing here is I'm not necessarily centering the pith on this log like you normally would. I'm, I'm centering top to bottom in the log, uh, taking my square and making sure it's centered up so I can get the maximum out of it. The pith is not necessarily gonna be in the middle down there on that far end. We're working with a little bit of a double heart. Uh, we're discussing that and just, and the double heart is due to that was the fork right there and they cut it off right before the fork. Just ahead of that fork, and I'm talking to this guy about it, just ahead of that fork, it actually gets narrower there for just a second, uh, how a fork kind of spreads out. There's a little bit narrower in there, so just because I measured 13 inches on that one end, um, this log's just barely big enough. It's big enough, we're gonna get what we've done, and we take pride in doing that. Um, every log's a little different. So, what I did is I centered that log up, and, uh, we're gonna cut the 10 inch, top to bottom right now uh, you guys watch as we go I'm taking a little bit of bark off here uh, just to make that first board and he didn't care the, the other boards we're going to get off of in one by one bias and this will clean it up to where notice it didn't clean up the whole length of the log but that next board will have a couple foot long one by and with black walnut uh, that's still pretty good piece of lumber you just don't want to on the wood stove. Uh, what I did on this, uh, how I set this in here up with the mill, of course I got the set works which will run that mill up and down however I want to set it. I started at the center point of that and raised five inches which would be half of my ten and then I went to automatic up and I just up, up ticked it. Uh, to get the one by so it was kind of backwards max but when I come when I get all the way down this last cut here I will be at five inches above the center line of that log and have it ready to turn so and then we gotta get rid of that stuff on top you'll see that here in this side it's all sawing pretty good it's a nice day out uh, this is the only log we brought this guy come from Oh, I hate to get the line. An hour or two away, uh, and this is the only log we brought, so I'm taking a little bit of extra caution. Not that I'm not generally cautious, but taking a little bit of extra caution to make sure I don't make a bad cut and just ruin the whole blasted thing. Uh, let's throw that down there in the slab stand. That's just firewood there. And and some one-by stuff we can get some one-bys out of. The old log's gonna have some character to it. I think we didn't quite make it through the white wood there, and that's okay. I like I like the difference. I like a little bit of darker and a little bit of lighter. I like character. You can see behind me, um, I've got knots, everything else in this that I've built. And I, I just love different different grains and things like that. And, oh, that, that that's my thing. And I think he's the same way. So again, I, I usually a lot of times I'll switch off turn them logs just a quarter turn at a time but just sawing a mantle basically trying to get a square can out of this with a 9 by 10 can I'm doing it a little bit different uh, I'm going to get the 10 inch side first I started working on the 10 inch side on the other side I'm just going to finish up the 10 inch portion of this can right now you can see that automatic headset, it comes down. Matter of fact, it adjusts itself back up a little bit. I can set this, I can set this headset to a 32nd of a degree. And you're gonna notice there's a little stress in this log. Watch this, watch this can't raise up right here. And that tree was, a brand new puppy. He's gotta come see me here once in a while. Uh, but yeah, that can't's raising up right here. And that's what I'm telling the customer about. There could be a little bit of a bow in the cant. 
it will probably stay because I'm not going to cut very much of it. <clears throat> but those boards, uh, when you start cutting through the grains like that and relieving stress, my assumption is that that side I'm cutting right now would have been on the northeast side of however that tree is growing. And if it was in the woods, uh, what I just did there was I just I just made a little score cut in there to make sure we're, we got 10 inches, and we do. Uh, like I say, taking a little bit extra time on this one just to make sure I don't fudge nothing up. Uh, I'd say that was on the northeast side of the tree if it was out in the timber because they generally lean southwest towards the sun and that's on the tension side of that tree so you can see it'll bow up on both ends uh, a lot of a lot of sawmill customers can give a sawmill operator a bad name saying well he cut lumber that was just warped up well there are things you can do to keep that from uh, showing up in your log as much by turning it a lot but when you're when you got to get a 9 by 10 cant out of a log that's a little less than 13 inches on a small end, it don't leave you many options. Uh, we'll get her, we'll get it turned up there and get that bark out of the way. We'll start working on the 9 inch side. If you look down there on the right side of that log, you'll see my tow board coming in and I'll lift that up. It's hydraulic. I'll lift that up and that'll, um, I can level that log how I want it. And again, I use a square a lot of times on the off the bunk of that, a little easier than a tape measure. Um, now I use a square for a tape measure a lot. What I'm doing is I'm measuring top to bottom and I'm marking the center with a pen. I usually don't have to get that critical, but there is just barely room in this log for what we need out of it. <clears throat> so I'm getting down to marking on the log with a pen just to make sure we're just, just so, so. here it's got stress on it you can watch that I'm just sawing down through there and that board just lifting off there to do the stresses in it uh, and there she comes starting to come back down I made it past center you'll see it it'll probably pop loose on yeah it'll pop loose on that other end uh that little puppy's following me around I'm happy to have him you can see how that top board just bowed up that didn't have anything to do with customers not drying it proper or anything like that uh, that's just how it works. Uh, I guess that's why they call it rough cut, and, and that's why the outside of the trees, a lot of times, not good lumber. You can see the little bit of bark inclusion on this end of what's going to be that mantle, uh, a little bit of swell there as it's going into the double bark, the crotch of the tree. Uh, a little bit of white wood on top yet, and I'm going to roll that over for a little bit of bark on top yet. Uh, got rid of my kickboards. You don't want to forget to leave those up and turn this log and forget to let that down. You'll mess up the whole cant because then you're cutting the top one and it taper to the bottom. Uh, so we're sitting back flat on the mill and we're measuring and i got to come down to nine inches. I'm studying awful hard wondering if I can come down to nine and a quarter and turn it back over and get another quarter off, quarter off the bottom side of it. And I'm talking to him, I just I just can't do it. It's, it's not gonna clean up. So he's decided we're just gonna clean those. We're gonna get two sides that's perfectly clean and two sides that's got just a little bit of bark. And if they want those showing, they can mount it that way. If they don't want them showing, they can mount the good corners out. But that's going to be a pretty good size mantle. That's, that's just most of a log right there. Uh, get a nice one by or two off of it. One, two. You can see I just didn't have that quarter inch to spare coming up. I cut her off right at the bark. I mean, 16th inch either way and there would have been bark or I would have took too much but there's how she there's how she come out so 
we'll load up these one buys on his trailer and he's gonna lay them on the deck and we'll get that camp loaded up. I'll just let you guys enjoy the rest of this a little bit. Got some peacocks in there and uh, he's out watching this and a uh, little bit of stuff to see in there. Appreciate it guys. Hit that uh, subscribe button if you like seeing stuff like this with chainsaw stuff and animals. And uh, hit a thumbs up if I if I earned it. You know, don't if I didn't. Let me know what you guys like. sure we're tying it down right he wants to be a police dog and he he's so mean he thought he'd just be dot he, he's <laughs> and the peacocks are out there they, they, they just they just like dressing up and showing off while all the work's going on if you're gonna have some character